a hint of blue tints the thread. They begin to resemble the true colors of the mall attire. The next morning, threads dyed and dried spin round and round around the charka. From one charka to the next, the threads spin, detangle and form giant spools. From charka to the nathia, the journey continues. The thread takes a break, but busy hands start digging holes. Eight holes for eight poles, ready for threads to resume their journey through a winding path. Intertwining around the bamboo, parallel to one another, they fulfill their destined encounter with other colors of the petani. Once it has dried, the thread emerges stronger than ever ready to withstand the tug and pull of the loom. The thread has been blessed by nature to withstand the forces of nature for years to come, ready to battle the seasons, ready to last long. While the threads rest, the busy hands of the mal women who have planted, harvested, dyed and slathered now become builders. They dig pits and foundations, raise pillars and construct an intricate wooden loom upon it. A marvelous contraption passed down for generations. One thread at a time, Ama pieces them together to be woven in the loom. All threads strung to the loom, the weaving begins. The shuttle travels back and forth, layering thread between threads. Colors intermingle, tightly woven and align in the ethnic pattern. The Patani's journey is now complete. A process which has taken seven days. Each thread of its fabric glistens with the essence of nature. Each batani woven to be a lifelong companion. <laughs>